I'm Stephen McInerney, lifelong Manchester City fan and content creator. Over the next few weeks, Man City and Next Entire are sending me on a journey around the world in search of some of the most dedicated City fans. Welcome to Away From Home. So we just landed here in Hamburg and we're on our way to meet Manchester City superfan Lennart, who set up the first ever supporters club here in Germany. I cannot wait to meet him. Lennart, it's lovely man, it's great to meet you. Very nice to finally meet you. <laughs> Thank you, cheers. Welcome to Hamburg. Lennart, you're a Manchester City fan living in Germany. How did that come to happen? That was about 2005, back in the days as a young lad, in an era with no Premier League on TV, no highlights on YouTube or anything. And uh, yeah, I was looking for similar dreams to my local club on FIFA. And uh, yeah, Manchester City really came to my mind straight away. Being the underdog like my local team and also playing in blue, you know. 2005, any particular players stood out for you? Sean Wright Phillips. Sean, you right, 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 man. Legend. Right, Phillips. I think he still could play under Pep nowadays. <laughs> He's still probably got the pace as well nowadays. And of course as well, there's even stronger Hamburg links. Nigel de Jong and Vincent Kompany, both ex-Hamburg players. Oh yeah, I mean Vincent Kompany, as a very young lad in Hamburg, as a young talent, playing quite some decent football already for two years and then coming to Manchester City. Well, he ended up with a statue outside the Etihad, so that shows how good he was. You must have been quite proud actually, didn't you? Oh yeah, of course. He, he defined an error for us, didn't he? Everyone's saying, no, don't shoot, don't shoot, I could really hear it. Perhaps we'll have a shot here, he has a dig! It was annoying me and I said, hold on a second. I've not come this far in my career for young players to tell me whether I can take a shot or not, and I just took it. We couldn't leave the port without trying Hamburg's famous fish sandwich. Here's a very traditional dish. It's a fish sandwich. How do you say that in German? It's a fischbrötchen. A fischbrötchen. Want to try it? give it a go? Let's go. Oh, you were saying before how you want to come to watch a City game with me as well, actually, in Manchester. Have you ever actually been to Manchester before? Oh, yeah, I've actually lived there for a while. Oh, no way, man. Whereabouts? In Bury. I live near Bury as well right oh, now. No way. It's perfect. You've oh, got to come over again. Funny. We'll take you out on town and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that as would well. be great. Did you get to any City games when you were in Manchester? I did get to a few home games, and that was honestly one of the main reasons why I moved there. Of course, as well, the experience, being there, being in the stadium, being close to the players, that must have meant something. Oh, as well. it's just very different to just watch the games from home, you know? You enjoyed the chants and all that kind of stuff. As I well. did. I did, yes. For me personally, my dad helped me get into City. He took me to my first game back in 1994. Did your dad have any impact on you getting into City? Oh, definitely. I mean, he generally speaking got me into football, watching local clubs and everything. And he was very supportive uh, when I got into City. He bought my first jersey and I oh, mean, nice. I told you about the FIFA story. I mean, he bought this FIFA game for me, right? So I think he played quite a crucial part. Leonard, you started the first ever supporters club in Germany, not just Hamburg, in Germany full stop. What made you want to do this? You know, I just want to connect people with each other and grow organically, just get everyone involved and then being able to watch the games here, obviously, together, but then also go to some big games in Manchester, travel together and, uh, yeah, just go from there. Of course, getting the city flags and all that kind of stuff around the bar oh, and all yeah. that kind of oh, stuff would yeah, be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Getting, the, getting the chance going as well. Yeah. Getting Blue Moon going in Germany. Oh, yeah. That'd be wonderful. Next up, he was taking me to one of Hamburg's biggest attractions, the largest model railway in the world. So what were your memories of the 9320 moment? A huge moment, of course. The first 90 minutes were crazy, but then this Jaco moment happened. People Jekyll. sometimes forget about it. Here's Silva, swings it in, Dzeko's there, it's in! City have got to go back, it's Dzeko! Game on! What was the Aguero moment like for you personally? It was the most emotional uh, football moment for me up until today. It was the first league title for ages, it was such a crucial moment for us. We went from noisy neighbour to the big neighbour. <laughs> I know we're spoiled for choice at the moment, but a favourite Manchester City player? It must be Kevin De Bruyne. He was such a great player in Germany already, wasn't he? But with his vision and technique, I, don't, I can't even explain. He sees stuff we don't even see on TV. And of course as well, there's the German connection, Ilkay Gundogan, world-class midfielder again like De Bruyne. Oh yeah, okay. I mean, what a player he is. And he was really good already in Germany. Yeah. But what did Pep do to him? He's such a great player now, changing from a defensive playstyle to such an aggressive, offensive player.
Was there any actually like Manx slang you learned when you lived in Manchester? Oh yeah, pretty fun, different gravy. One word for you. Different gravy. <laughs> Now this is a very traditional German dish. Actually, my mom used to do that quite a few times for lunch. Oh really? She so, made this? Yes, so this is a sort of a potato pancake and then we have some like apple, mashed apple here. See, so I've you never just... had like apple puree on potato. Oh no, really I mean it's an interesting one. You just put the apple puree on it and then you go for it. It's good. You wanna try? Yeah, that's what I'll try, mate. Let's go. Try. It's been an incredible first day, Lena. Uh, I'm absolutely exhausted, but we've seen some wonderful things. But there's a big thing happening tomorrow, Man City Burnley. Are you confident? I'm a bit nervous, but I'm also very excited. I think we should be, actually. I think we should be confident. We've got to trust this team, haven't we? It's oh, going to yeah. be a game. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to it, mate. Me too, man. It's a huge game today, mate. Uh, Burnley away, Turf Moor. The title race is getting really tight. The pressure's on, isn't it? Oh, the pressure's on, oh yes. But it's it's exciting, isn't it, that every game matters that much? This is what we want, though, isn't yeah, it? This is yeah. why you get in a title race. I mean, just, it certainly beats the olden days for me anyway, when I used to worry about relegation. But now this is exciting. And surely we've got the mentality, though, for it. Oh, yes, I think so. I think so. Fingers with Pep as well. Pep will be getting into the players' heads and making sure they're focused, won't he? Oh, yeah. Bringing in this, this mentality of everyone being friends with each other and uh, just being so hungry for success, I think uh, that's what we really brought to the table and we can see it day by day, game by game. Time's ticking away mate, the game is close, should we go? Let's go. Let's go. Leonard's like, an absolutely wonderful guy by the way, and apparently he's organised a pretty special way for us to get to the game. After taking in a few more sights of Hamburg from the warmth of our tour bus, we arrived at the Fleetenkeeker with one thing left to do. Manchester City bid to return to winning ways in the Premier League when they travel to relegation threatened Fernley this Saturday afternoon. Victory today would have City back where they belong. Cancelo. For Sterling brings it inside, yes! it's Kevin oh, Bruyne who finishes off, City. slamming the ball home. It is 1 0 to Manchester oh. City with their first shot of the game. <laughs> Back across to Gundogan, it's found its way through. Come on, Ilkay Gundogan makes it two. Oh, Ilkay, okay. you're mad. to this contest. Manchester City are back to winning ways in the Premier League and they are back on top of the table. Our man Stephen McInerney is in Hamburg. He's getting everywhere. He's travelling the world, meeting City fans. Hi now, it's Stephen and we're here in Hamburg with Next and Tyre. Of course, City have just been firmly 2-0. It was wonderful and you heard a familiar accent. Peter and Shane from Manchester, we're here with me and Lennart. Guys, how are you getting on? You alright? Yes, brilliant. brilliant. Absolutely <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Especially that after that result, we're on top of the world. That was huge, wasn't it? It was brilliant. Big that was three so big in the top to us today. Massive three points. Lennon, it's been an incredible weekend. Uh, City won, of course, against Burnley. That was huge and we needed that this weekend. Oh, yeah. uh, but you've been a fantastic host as well, honestly. Thank you for showing me around Hamburg. It's been absolutely brilliant. And next and tie as well, I want to say uh, a little thank you for being such a huge blue over in Hamburg as well. We've got a little something for you. There you go, man. Oh, no. Yeah, they so just... we were with some players the other day uh, and they put a little message for you and signed it. We've got Gundogan. We've got Bernardo and Zach Steffen, and this is yours. You've got to frame this. This has got to be the first ever official supporters club in Germany. 
That is beautiful. Thank you so much and thank you for the experience. No, honestly, thank you, genuinely. It's been absolutely wonderful. It's been an incredible honor being here today. Hi, Lennart. This is Akai Gundogan. I heard you are doing an amazing job over in Germany. It's great to have someone like you over there. And uh, thank you very much for your support. Keep, uh, keep it up and hopefully we can have you and uh, your friends, your community over at Etihad soon. Take care. Join me next time when I'll be on the other side of the world in Seoul, watching Man City take on Liverpool.